Hi, welcome. I'm Pascal Giacomini, a sculptor and mixed media artist. Welcome to my Hollywood studio. Come on in. Well, I'm primarily known as a sculptor, which I've been doing for 20 years. Some of our clients, Denzel Washington, Angela Bassett, Sam Jackson, so I've bought sculptures and paintings. I've always been interested in arts from Oceania, arts from Africa, the rawness quality of that type of art and the spontaneous side of it has always been a great inspiration. My feeling about uh, aesthetics uh, practically comes from classical arts, the Greeks and the Romans, simple lines and uh, fairly uh, refined aesthetics. I've never afraid to tackle anything. I've done large-scale sculptures, I've done chairs and coffee tables and, and, and dresses. I've done fountains or fireplaces. I started to get into the mixed media deal because I have an expertise as a cabinet maker. Then I became uh, an expert metal worker. So I started to do metal furniture as a way to mix the both of them. Then uh, I've always done photography. And so some years ago I decided to integrate uh, photography into my artwork. In portrait photography, I've tried to mix up uh, metal and uh, print so that I would create a 3D uh, type of portrait, mixing up print on canvas and multi-dimensional metal pieces. All right, here's a good example of the kind of cross-pollination I'm trying to do. And I was interested to do 3D photography, so to speak. So this is a friend of mine, is a photographer, Jeff Dunas. So I cut out this profile of the metal, as you could see. And then I use uh, shots of him that I mounted on aluminum. This is all printed on canvas. Then, because he's a photographer, I wanted to reflect that on the piece. So this is an old camera that I found at the flea market that I added here. And then I've been trying to be satisfied with the piece for the longest time. This is maybe the tense version. So I got sick and tired of it. So I grabbed a brush and I started to just slash the guy with red, yellow, and green. And ultimately, the spontaneity of that part was what made the day. So that's another uh, sculptor on my uh, Vaudou series. His name is Grand Bois. He's the spirit of the forest. The way I came about uh, him was imagining that uh, he was captured in Africa. As you could see, he lives in the forest, so his head is full of leaves. And somehow, uh, our French concept of liberty, equality, uh, Republican values didn't travel too well to the islands. So what I've done to um, show that, he has a slave collar that has been broken because he escaped. And on the slave's collar, there is liberty on one side and equality on the other side. So I mix everything on this one. The ancient, the modern, this is a Mercedes, um, this is an old Mercedes alloy wheel that I got into a junkyard and I figured out it would be a very nice, <coughs> it would be a very nice base for the sculptor. Then you got the water, then you got the flames, steel, glass, amethyst, everything is there. I'm happy with this one. Well, I basically have two hats. One is an artist, the other one is a functional artist. On one hand, I'll do my art, expressing myself about whatever subjects I want to talk about. And then on the functional level, responding to people who will actually give me money because this is uh, often enough what pays the rent. When I start to put up a piece, I don't uh, weld it entirely. I start to do little uh, welds that's gonna hold the piece together, but if I don't like what I've done, I could break it easily. And it's only when I'm 100% sure that I like the new shape, then I go about it and weld everything. I just finished this piece, and uh, that's actually a commission. It's called Merbius Poor Cousin. And uh, that is going into a private residence. Somehow, my dear client didn't like it. Well, that happens. That is the original image. Compared to the other one, kind of goes inside. So my idea here was to mix the, one of my trademarks, say, 
the highly geometric abstract lines with something totally organic. Well, he didn't like that. I've done a second piece, which this time will simply stand up. So now I'm gonna go back to using this. I'm probably gonna add more glass. And therefore, as you can see, nothing gets lost. I've done it, they don't like it. I still like it, I use it for something else. And result, out of one commission, I got two pieces. Beautiful. Even if you study in school, by the time you get out there in the real world, what you study in school is only the beginning. So you need to grow and learn every time you do something and if possibly use a new idea every time you can. If I do a job, I have to be creative because each time I learn, it makes me progress, makes me better. If I don't do that, uh, it's very easy to do a whole bunch of works for people and two years down the road you haven't learned nothing and you're not a better artist and therefore you're not going to be as successful as you could be. Uh, the most important thing as an artist is that people are not indifferent to your art. People have to react. If they hate it, that's fine for me. If they love it, obviously that's better. But showing a piece to somebody would go, eh, it's nice and then walk away, that is not good at all. I've read in the New York Times a couple of years ago, is sculptor dead? Well, no, not yet.